Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can continue homework. We have done like admin side create homework, listing, edit and delete same as we did inside a teacher side. So now we need to do this homework you are created like admin side and teacher side. So we need to show inside a student side. So student can submit his homework. But in this video, we can show like student side homework after we can provide another button like a submit homeworks. So let's start and show you one by one how we can do it so first of all we need to log in for any student suppose here is a class ss2 and part-time ss1 so here is a part-time so let's log in this teachers means this uh, student because he have already homework and he's a date like a he's a class is a part-time so i just copy i just go to homework inside you can see it like a part-time already there one homeworks so let's log out and I log in for these users, means these students. And we need to create a new menu like a my homework. I think we need to sort out this the dashboard because dashboard also is not dynamic. So few videos after next few videos after I can sort out this dashboard. So look like better because uh, now system is working very well. And after we can do like chat and notification. Okay, so let's make it here like a my homework we can create a new menu my notice board after my homeworks so just go to resources inside need to go views inside need to go like layouts added.blade.php and we just need to create a new menu so let's go to down for the student one okay this is the one means admin two means teachers and three means students so it still is a one admin teachers now and this is the three main students so just go down and just you need to copy like my notice board to my homework so just above code you can copy and paste and just you can change here like my homework and also you can change here like student my homework um, work. And also you can make it here because we need to active always segment class means the active class so we know which menu inside we are going okay I save this files I just go back again refresh the page so you can see it now here is a new menu there my homework I just click here so we need to create a for this routes because this route is not there so just go to routes inside go to web.php and just go down this is the let's copy for the teachers one and this is the sorry admin one whatever you can need to copy and just put here and you can change the routes like here you can change like a student my homework so just you can change like a student and here you can change like a homework student homework i think like this let's check above one how we did okay we can put last because here we have put like a homework teacher so we can put here like a homework students here we can go this control like a homework controller otherwise you need to go app http controller inside you can see it like a homework controller and just go down and here you can tap like a student side work so we know which step which place we are working just paste here and we need to make another query for the get the homework for students but first of all we need to create a file and show directly so just go up and just copy for this two line teachers ones and here we can do like a my homework and here we can teachers to we can change like a student student instead we need to create a new folder like a homework folder Uh, we can go to students inside we need to create a new folder homework okay and inside we need to create a, like a list.blade.php because here is another file means another file we need to create like a submit homework this reason i have created homework folder otherwise we can show directly here okay so blade.php so File is successfully created. I just save and just go back and refresh the page. So 100% this one works. Okay. So let's open the database. So something I need to explain for you database wise. So I can explain this reason I open database. 
so now we need to go to like teacher side and inside we need to create a like a homework inside need to go list and just copy for all thing and just paste here and we need to remove this is the like a query because we are not created for this query just remove it and also you need to remove the like a pagination one okay and just you can refresh the page and we can see how it's look show so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like my homework here we can change like my homework and we don't want to create a homework so just remove this line like add one and we don't want to need like also this one just remove and here you can put like a 12 so it's going to full width save search my homework also we can put like this title and we have already their filter we don't want to need a class because he is a class only fix so just we need to put like a subjects okay from homework date to homework date from submission date and created date and to updated dates okay reset button we need so just we can change like a student my homeworks like this okay i save these files and now everything is good just go back and refresh the page so you can see it now like my homework because we don't want to read a class because the class is a only one class so we know okay he's a class but we need to show here name of the class so he can understand so don't worry subjects and here we can make a document and also we need to show here like a description so he know okay what is the my description okay because we need to show him and subjects homework dates to homework dates submission and created by and created dates so let's make a one query so first of all i will show you how to get a class wise homework so just go to like a schools.com inside we need to go like a student sorry not student sorry not subjects uh, we need to go like a homework where is the homework here there is a homework here there is a class id 33 three. you can see it and also users table inside you can see it like every student we can provide a class id so you can see it here so we can get this class id against for this student is a homework okay so i think it's clear so let's go back again and just we can make here another query so just go up and copy the student one other, sorry teachers ones and we can use it directly so just copy and paste here and here is a get record here we can change like a get record student and here we can change to our authentication class id because i already show you inside users table inside there class id okay so let's go to homework models you need to go like uh, models inside you can see it homework model otherwise you are using sublime editor so just you can use a go to definition so automatic go here but you need to add a some plugin so this is the plugin you need to check how it works so you need to check like other youtube channel videos so you can easily understand so just copy this one get student teachers one and just paste here and here you can go and change this function name and here you can change like a class id okay and this is the parameter we are already passing here class id so also i put like a kind of dollar class id and i will change here like a class ids because we don't want to use a where in so just use it directly and just we can remove the where in where homework dot class id or class id so you can see it here okay and here we don't want to need like class wise of filtering so just remove this filter other filter you can leave it because other filter we are using so everything is good where dates in order by descending order so new homework going to first you can see it okay so now is clear everything just save this file and also you can see it like all the join queries so what do you want to watch last few video so you can understand how we can did here so just save these files and just go back and refresh the page so we can check error there not there so error not there so go to list one and you also need to go to like again like a teachers inside list and you just need to copy bottom one like this parts and put here okay and also you need to copy like a pagination part because we have did pagination also so let's refresh the page and we can check so you can see it like a part time so only one one class he is a class name is a part time suppose you can go to 
like uh, my subjects so here i think showing class name not showing i don't know it's not not showing class name otherwise he is a class name part time this reason is only showing the his class name class wise the homework so part time so english subjects and here showing the homework date submission date and he can download his file and create by who is a created teachers and we don't want to need a action inside edit and delete we just need to use a like action inside like a submit button so just we can do like a submit on work and we don't want to need a delete button and we just need to remove this url okay so now everything is clear just refresh the page so you can see it once you can submit after we don't want to show here like a this is the listing we need to create a like a here we can make like another menu my submitted homework so you click on this menu means this button and you can see it like my submitted homework otherwise we can create a new menu like a my submitted homeworks so you also you can got it like a submitted homework my submitted homework so you can click in and you can see it like class id and download and whatever do you want to do you can do it like all the listing we can show here but we need to provide here like a description because we have copy paste so automatic everything there here so just you can create a new document after we just need to create a like a description now and just go to database homework column and here you can see it like a description so just copy and we can put after document ctd and here we can show like here we are using the html so i just using like html tag value descriptions okay because we are always star wise get the data so you can use it here directly okay so no issue so just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here like a hello only for him let's open the private windows and we can log in as a teachers sorry admin and we can create a new homework for this part time class so admin at the gmail.com and i just log in now go to homeworks inside homework and you can edit for this one like a part time inside because we have put just hello this reason is showing the hello so okay suppose i can create add new homework and i can choose a like part time and i can choose like different subject like home economics right now what's the subject english language subject inside homework there but i can change like home economics and i will add a date like 9 okay just you can add like a today dates 9 dates homework date 9s and submission date 10s and here we can upload the documents so what do you want to upload otherwise you can explain hi please complete the assignment the assignment complete the assignment don't worry about spelling mistake just right click and change the spelling mistake and here you can upload the assignment attachment but i don't know what right now so you can attach because we are not to make a request after clicking the submit so homework successfully created and just go to back to student side and you can refresh so you can see it here also you can see it like a description hi please complete the assignment and here is a document so do you have any document you can upload so here showing let's edit and upload the document so you can see it here let's go to any place like uh, images and i can upload this documents and submit updates so it's downloading so just go back refresh the page so you can see it like here document downloading you can see whatever you uploaded this document you can see it here downloading working very well so no issue okay so like part time subject economics home homework dates and everything showing now we need to work inside a submit homework but submit homework inside what we need to do like you need to upload your files and also you can write a description for this id again so this student is a submit homework after we don't want to show this links and here teacher side and admin side we need to show you view student homework you click on and he can see it is a homework after this module is done so in this video i have explained how to show student homework next video we can do about the how to submit the homework for these students so i hope do you want to understand this these things and do you have not understand anything so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for
watching.